Hey guys, what's up? Hi everyone. This is Ananya, your SSP master teacher here at Vidantu. So guys, welcome to my today's session. And if you people are new on this channel, let me welcome you guys to the family of Vidantu's 9th and 10th English. I would request all of you to subscribe to this channel and also show some love by hitting the like button. Thank you so much in advance. All right, people. So what are we going to do in this particular session? Let's see, guys. Guys, in this session, we are going to start with the new chapter that is manufacturing industries. And this is the very first session of this chapter. So make sure that you people are staying with me till the very end of the session. And also you people are watching my upcoming sessions on this chapter. All right. So without any further delay, let's get started. But before I start guys, one very, very important announcement to everyone. Guys, Edfest is going on and today is the last day to take our VPro subscription guys. Right now, term 2 subscription is available at a very, very low cost, which includes all the subjects. If you people are going to apply my coupon code ADPRO, which is already applied. If you go through the link in the description box, you will be a part of our VPro subscription. Guys, at least give it a try. The trial pack is like close to 650, 700 rupees, guys. At least give it a try. I will definitely tell you along with this session how you guys can be a part of my long-term batches. Then, guys, from today onwards, one more batch is going to start. All right. So make sure that you take the advantage of our VPro subscription. Cool. So. So guys, start karte with our session and guys, at the end of the session, I will be giving you guys two homework questions as I always give you. So make sure that you people are giving the answers in the comment section. All right. It will help you to understand how seriously you people are watching my sessions. Chalo. So start karte. Let's see guys, what are we going to learn in this chapter? Guys, in this chapter, we will be dealing with manufacturing industries. And in this session, I will be telling you guys what is the meaning of manufacturing industries the importance of industries and also where the industries can be located. Now, right, these are the things we will be dealing with in this chapter. First of all, guys, what are manufacturing industries? How it is important in our life? Guys, just look around yourself. The things which you use on a daily basis, all these things or majority of the things are coming directly from manufacturing industries. Like for example, this jacket, specs, my aloe vera gel, my mobile phone, laptop, then uh, camera, all these things, my watch, all these things are coming from manufacturing industries. Right? Exactly. So guys, what is manufacturing industry? What is the meaning? Let's understand the meaning of manufacturing industries, guys. Take okay? care. So guys, what is manufacturing? Production of goods in large quantities after processing from raw material. Now, let me give you a very simple example. This jacket is made up of cotton. So this jacket is made in industry, textile industry. How? Raw material is taken from primary sector that raw material is taken to industry, processing took place, and this is the final product, manufactured product. So production of goods in large quantities after processing from the raw material. So cotton is a raw material, and this is the final product, which is more valuable and is going to be more long lasting. This entire process is known as manufacturing. I hope you got the meaning of what is manufacturing at the same time. The example is also clear to each and every student, right? Superb job guys. Do not forget to like this video. All right. So guys, let's understand the importance of manufacturing one by one. All right. Subse pehle. It helps in strengthening the economy of the country. How? Yaha pe likha hai, economic strength of a country is measured from the development of manufacturing industry. So now guys, as we know, after industrialization, guys, we have seen the goods are produced on a large scale at a very less time. So as the population is increasing, the consumption of all these manufactured goods is also increasing. As the population is growing, 
the production is also growing the consumption is also growing so as the consumption is growing people are purchasing more manufactured products because of which it is contributing into the national income also as we are producing more so we are also exporting these products to the other country again we are getting foreign exchange and it is contributing into our national income so we can say that manufacturing industries contributes into the economic development of the country i hope you people are getting it it is the backbone of our economy guys through manufacturing industries they reduce the dependence of people on agriculture providing jobs so guys now it is not necessary that people are totally dependent upon agricultural activities all right so guys manufacturing industries is actually providing us jobs all right employment is increasing poverty is reducing unemployment is also reducing more products are manufactured in our country so these surplus products are exported to other countries it is contributing into the economic development because we are getting foreign exchange simple as that this is how manufacturing industries are important now guys this topic is very very important so make sure that you please listen to this very very carefully guys the contribution of industry to national income or national economy let's understand guys how this sector is contributing into national income by the way guys manufacturing industries comes under secondary sector all right cool so guys over the last two decades guys what is the meaning of decade one decade means a period of 10 years so what is two decades a period of 20 years so pichle 20 saal mein over the last 20 years last two decades the share of manufacturing sector has stagnated stagnated means stop growing so growth has been stopped the share of manufacturing sector has stagnated at 17% of gdp out of the total 27% for the industry now guys this statement is quite confusing all right yahan pe bachche thoda sa confuse ho jate hain so i want you to listen to this very very carefully by the way guys i want you guys to watch a video on gdp i made a separate video wherein i have explained the concept of the uh, gdp in a very plain simple language and that will in detail so you will find the link in the description box and also somewhere on this screen also so make sure that after this session i want you people to watch the video on gdp that will help you to understand the meaning of gdp all right so guys the share of manufacturing sector has stagnated at 17% of gdp out of the total 27% for the industry now basically secondary this statement is explaining us secondary sector is contributing 27% in gdp all right so as 27% is contributed contributed by industrial sector that is secondary sector 17% is contributed by manufacturing industry ab iska matlab kya hua guys the activities like querying mining electricity and all these activities comes under secondary sector but it is not a part of manufacturing sector how like if i tell you about mining activities what are we doing we are extracting the minerals we are extracting we are not manufacturing we are extracting it comes under secondary sector it is contributing into the gdp coming from secondary sector but it is not a part of manufacturing like manufacturing of this jacket manufacturing of this laptop comes under manufacturing industry so secondary sector is contributing 27% in gdp and manufacturing industry is contributing 17% in gdp so i hope you understood the meaning of this guys if you have any difficulties while watching the videos make sure that you people are asking me questions in the comment section i will come up with a separate video in which i will explain in detail about whatever like doubts you have i will explain you those concepts and i will answer all your queries in a separate video altogether but guys if you want that i should explain each and every question immediately so i want you guys to take my vpro subscription guys do you know why because it may be like you have some doubts or your concepts are not cleared or you need more questions you need more assignments you want you want me to explain or 
क्लियर योर डाउट्स इमीडिएटली ऑब्वियसली गैस सबको चाहिए रहता है कि आप हमारे सारे डाउट्स इमीडिएटली क्लियर कर दो सो फॉर दैट गैस आई वॉन्ट यू पीपल टू टेक अवर प्रो सब्सक्रिप्शन डू नो वाई बिकॉज एवरी सेशन इफ यू टेक अवर वी प्रो सब्सक्रिप्शन एवरी सेशन इज अ लाइव सेशन like this is a recorded session guys and you know the difference between watching a recorded session and attending a live class guys live session is more interactive your doubts are cleared immediately so that is a very very big added advantage all right we cover the entire syllabus you can even download the notes which are made by your master teacher i will show you how you can watch the session replay if you miss out the session due to any reason you have two teacher pattern guys two teacher pattern matlab master teacher will clear all your concepts and doubt during the class and class teacher will clear all your doubts immediately during the class and guys not only during the class but after the class also from morning 8 am till evening 11 pm assignments are given tests are taken thousands of micro courses people do you know what are micro courses let's take an example as i told you just in case if you miss out the session you can watch the session replay session recordings all right n number of times but if you want to attend the live session can you attend the live session of this chapter once again on our vpro subscription yes how you can separately take the micro course of this chapter and it can be taken by the other master teachers of vedantu so guys just imagine guys you are getting the advantages of each and every master teacher so guys how you can take the pro subscription guys we have two plans and guys right now edfest is going on today is the last date pro light and pro classic guys aapko malum hai pro light whatever benefits i said you except the doubt solving after the class is there in pro light guys right now it is at 4000 rupees if you take the subscription tomorrow you will be getting the subscription at 5400 rupees but today is the last date you will be getting the subscription at 4000 rupees and if you want to give it a try for 15 days it is at 650 rupees physics chem bio sst maths english all the subjects with all these advantages we have pro classic also doubts app you will be getting at 6000 entire term too so guys today is the last date 31st jan from today one more batch is started and guys for 10 class on 7th of feb we will be starting the a new batch all right on 24th jan already one batch has started so you people can take the subscription guys during at first it is at 4000 rupees from tomorrow you will be getting the same at 5400 rupees so guys this is the time today is the last date take the subscription and be a part of our long term batches right chalo and guys i want you to fill a google form uh, for the revision series let's revise india guys we are soon going to start with the revision of all the important topics on this channel so i want you guys to fill that form we need some information from your end make sure that you people are uh, filling the form which is there in the description box all right guys ad pro is my coupon code which is already applied in the uh, link where which is there in the description box i'll quickly guide you guys dekho this is one of my video on youtube first of all do like this video just just go, just go to show more you can see over here CBSE term term to to full syllabus. Just click over here. You you will be redirected to our website and you can see these two plans. Where they go? AD Pro, if I remove this code, you will be getting the entire plan at six thousand rupees. But AD Pro is already applied. Still, if it is not applied, you can type AD Pro and you will be getting fifty percent off up to rupees two thousand on both the plans. We have a trial plan for fifteen days, which is at six fifty rupees and eight fifty rupees, guys. ठीक है? So guys, this is all you have to take the subscription and be a part of our long term matches. चलो तो guys यहाँ से continue करते हैं. Let's understand industries कहाँ पे locate हो सकती है. All right, the factors which are favorable for the localization of any industry. Now guys, these are the factors which are very very important for the localization of any industry. Like raw material, availability of raw material is a very important factor, guys, for any industry to be located. all right raw material should be easily available uh, we need labor we need skilled laborers we need unskilled laborers to work in the factories we need capital like we need money all right to purchase the raw material we need power supply we need land to establish the factory we need good efficient transport uh, transportation and communication system why for the supply of raw materials 
and the finished products to the market why do we need a market all right so these products can be supplied in the markets and it should be available for the consumers so guys the place where all these factors are available these favorable factors are available you will come across industries in those areas all right guys so guys we can actually classify these factors into two groups geographical factors and non geographical factors like what geographical factors will include like natural factors availability of raw materials availability of water good climate non geographical factors electricity availability cheap labor skilled labor unskilled labor efficient transport and communication system and also stops all right guys so that was all about in today's session guys i hope you understood each and every topic in detail if you have any questions guys please ask me in the comment section and guys now the homework question for that i want you people to give the answers in the comment section the question is which of the following is the factors for industrial location so is it the raw material labor transport the all of the above second question manufacturing brings what jobs for an exchange both a and b on and of the above all right on any of the above so guys i hope the topic is clear to everyone and guys make sure that you people are taking my pro subscription with the link which is there in the description box ad pro is my coupon code and guys let me tell you let me show you how the sessions actually goes in our live batches guys so guys once you take our pro subscription you will come across such kind of dashboard you can watch the session replays by going to the past sessions all right and this is how you can download the notes this is how you can was the session replays all right you just have to click on like let's say this session i want to watch this session once again also up to the national test mai aapko ek example deta hu and this is how you people are actually uh, like uh, like uh, interacting with the students across the globe this is how quizzes are asked yes. because do you look at the names on the screen these are the students from different parts of the country you want to know how the pure to the highest and all world. the Instant. And the government. Right, yeah, so this is how sessions are taken. We also unmute and cam the students many a times. All right. And guys, this is how you can download the notes. Just click on Get Notes, and you will be able to download all the notes which are used during the class, including quizzes. Just click over here, and you can download the notes. All right, guys. So thank you so much, Kiar, for attending my session. I hope the session was really useful. So I will see you guys in my next session till then take very very good care of yourself and do not forget to give the answers in the comment section all right and make sure that you people are also sharing our videos with all your friends bye bye guys take care jai hind